Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another video. So today we'll be unboxing the Jurassic World Dominion Brachiosaurus. I ordered this guy off Amazon. I think it was like $105 Canadian. Um, originally it was on sale for $95, but for some reason I uh, waited too long and the sale was off, but I wanted to get it before it was uh, discontinued. Um, I heard it was a pretty hot item and hard to get on the uh, American uh, Amazon, so now I have it. I'm one step closer to completing the Dominion lineup. And real quick before we start the unboxing, I recently named a new species of Mosasaur, Hanosaurus Boobker. Um, if you go down to the links in the description, you can purchase her very own t-shirt and help support our future research because I am a paleo student. So back to the video, let's dig into this guy. The back of the box, or I guess maybe this is the front, um, is vertically uh, uh, done. So you can see the image of the Brachiosaurus without the light glare there. is really nice. Uh, the head's kind of funky looking, it's got like this like red eye almost. Um, and then some pretty sharp looking teeth, <laughs> which is concerning. I'm Pretty sure it's supposed to have like peg-like teeth. Um, it's got a super long neck too, um, a little bit longer than what the toy has. You can see there, the toy's neck is a lot shorter in comparison to this render. Um, and it says it's seven seventy-one centimeters tall or uh, twenty-eight inches. So pretty rad. Uh, the render on the front of the box or back or whatever this is. Um, has the mountains with some snow, so this is, um, I'm guessing, Biosyn Valley from the uh, pine trees as well. Um, it's a pretty interesting image. It's, it's kind of very open, and some of the, like, stock trees are cut a little bit awkwardly. But if you ignore that, it's a pretty beautiful box. Um, I like the Dominion logo, and it's got the size on the front as well. Um, it also has a size chart on the side, too. And it has an action feature where you can swing the tail and the head goes up and down. You don't really get an image of the toy on the box besides this little image here. Um, it's mostly just the renders taking up most of this big old box. And then the, uh, the pyroreptor on the side there. So I'm going to cut off the uh, tape and let's see if it's an easy unboxing. It's pretty neat that this is our fourth large sauropod figure. Um, even though it's a repaint, it's a pretty cool addition to the lineup. And I'm excited to see whoop, the paint job in person. So, ooh. There we have it. So it looks like I don't have the solid paint one, so this one's got a, um, a very light spray on the neck. So there's two variants actually out there, one with a solid beige on the neck and one with this kind of lighter spray beige on the neck. I was actually kind of hoping for the solid one, but I guess this will look better next to the original Brachio because it also has a very similar uh, kind of like faded spray to it. Looks like the body has all the legs connected. I yeet the box. It's kind of just loosely in here. There's nothing holding the wrapping uh, together. So, what the heck's going on? I think that's in the plastic. There's these weird yellow streaks um, within the plastic on the body. I don't know if you can kind of, you can see it a lot better when I zoom in. It almost looks like someone just took a paintbrush and just like wicked it across, but that's actually in the plastic. It's in the legs too. Ah, oh, it's so weird. Uh, it might be easier to look at from afar. Close up, it, it does not look very nice. Um, kind of jiggly. The legs are a tad bit loose. That's okay. Front legs are stiff. It's just this one back leg's a little rattly. Um, right off the bat, this is uh, pretty interesting. They've got a, a color 
uh, change. So they got purple on the back. It's kind of like reddish purple. And then this like darker bluish purple. No, dark blue. Navy almost, but like purple. So that's scattered across the body on the back. Um, kind of gives me like elephant vibes, I guess. Uh, the tail also has paint on it, which is like a huge win. Because usually Mattel doesn't, you know, paint the tails anymore. And you'd expect on a, such a big figure they wouldn't really care that much. But you can see that there's a little bit of that bluey purple. As well as that weird yellow uh, streaks. So we're going to pop the tail in. And the paint actually goes even on the, the rotate, like the part of the skin underneath. So when you rotate it, you can see it. And it's not just like an empty, non-painted area. Okay, so the tail is attached. Oh man, I'm gonna fit this on screen. Oh, it's a lot brighter than the OG one. And it doesn't have uh, paint on the stomach, which is kind of sad. That would have been um, a lot better. I think it would have looked a lot nicer, a lot less cheap if it had paint on the stomach. Um, but the paint on the neck is nice at least, because um, it really complements that kind of purpley on the neck. And then there's that bright um, beige on the under neck. And this is actually pretty cool. This was uh, something I really wanted to take a look at. It's got this very shiny, uh, what is that? Like turquoise and blue. I can't tell, it's almost hard to tell if it's all one color or not because this kind of looks more like sky blue and this is more like a greeny blue. But that could just be the lighting. Oh, it's, I can almost kind of see it on the on the camera here. That's like light blue and that's like aqua or like turquoise, more greeny, it's more sky. But I could just be tripping. No, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's green, that's blue, that's green. Yeah, no, I, and then it's got the, the green blue on the, the like nose up there, and then like the sky blue under the eye. Very neat that they chose two different types of blue for that. Um, kind of odd, like they didn't really necessarily need to. I don't think anyone would have noticed or cared, but holy heck, the inside of the mouth is painted, the tongue's painted, these little skin flaps. It's like solid plastic in there. Um, it's not really detailed, it's pretty smooth. Um, I think the original also is the same way though. The top of the mouth has like those ridges on it, so it's got some detail in there. And of course the jaw articulation. So let's plop the neck on there. Ooh, that was a weird noise. Um, and of course the neck can, oh, what the heck? Go down and up. It's got like these intermediate pegs in there. Um, so you can, you gotta like crank it down. It's not like a, a smooth transition, <laughs> very clunky. Um, I think the original doesn't have that. I could be wrong. Yeah, the original is just this smooth transition up and down, whereas this new one has this like clunky joint. Oh, anyways, it's got uh, the paint all the way down here for some reason. Um, I think it would have been fine if they just didn't do that because uh, honestly this being all one color would have looked a lot nicer than this weird like unnatural clean cut pattern. <laughs> oh that's so bizarre. I can't believe they even added this feature. I guess like if you want it to drink but that's just, oh that doesn't look right at all. <laughs> that's so unnatural. So uh, let's see. Put it back to normal, I'll try and zoom out. Um, so there it is next to the original. Um, the lighting's kind of not the best, but it is a, uh, I guess a brighter color. It's kind of like this pinky, pinky brown almost. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah, it's a pinky brown. 
for some reason. And then of course the neck has that spray on it, and then it, at the top it's got that like shininess that Fallen Kingdom showed us on the heads that they continued using. Um, and it looks pretty nice next to the Dreadnoughtus, which is like that solid navy blue color. Um, and then uh, we just put Rexy next to it too. It's, yeah, it's a usual size, like there's nothing different, they didn't change any of the sculpt, all the detail is the same as the original uh, Brachiosaurus, they just gave it that fresh new repaint. So uh, I actually prefer the original better, um, it looks more accurate to the Jurassic Brachiosaurus, this one's uh, a lot more stylized I guess with the color. Um, but it stands out, it's unique, it would have been uh, kind of sucky if they just did something that looked very similar to their original, so it's cool that you've got options now on what color you can uh, get. So yeah, no, that concludes uh, <laughs> the review, I guess. There's not much more to say, I don't know, like the toes aren't painted, the underbelly's not painted, but they painted the tail, so I guess that's fine, and I like the cool colors on the head. So it's not that bad of a figure. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments if you were able to pick this figure up and how much you got it for. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.